Hey guys, I'm Yash. So now if you want to use multiple views, uh, one of the easiest option is to use tab view. Uh, even Apple uses tab view for its uh, very basic applications like clock uh, in which you get uh, alarm settings, stopwatch and also phone in which you get a dialer and uh, contacts and all that stuff recent. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project. Now this time we will be selecting a tabbed application, hit next, name it tab view, okay, uh, do check the settings, hit next and uh, we will be, uh, save it wherever you want, I will save it under YouTube, okay, this is wrong. Okay. So here we go. So here are two uh, view controller files right now, <coughs> as you may see, for the storyboard. And here are two views on which uh, we can make some changes. So let's. What we can do is, uh, in first view controller, let's say self dot view dot background color is equal to UI color dot red okay and under second view controller we will do yellow okay under view did load self dot view dot background color is equal to ui color dot yellow okay so let's run it and see what happens so this both are two separate files okay so let's run app is running so here pretty slow so here we have it so this is our uh, first uh, red view and second is yellow so now let's add a third view uh, stop this app uh, okay I just forgot to make it large so I'll just make it large so just check it once again if you wish to see so here it's self dot view dot background is equal to UI color dot red and second view is self dot view dot background color is equal to UI color dot yellow. So let's hop over to main dot storyboard and add a uh, one more view controller. So place it here. Now from uh, just control uh, select in between this tab bar controller, uh, it, you will be seeing this blue lines. Now control drag it to this the new view controller and say relationship segue view controllers so now this will as you see there is a third item here so let's try to create a clone of phone app so first uh, let's change this to let's say favorites okay the name is favorites and uh, this as uh, let's say recent okay so we need that clock I think history yeah history has that clock and we need title position uh, uh, uh. let's try to set it here let's say recents recents okay and I okay okay we cannot uh, uh, we need to give a custom image for it so anyways here is history and here we can select, uh, let's say, bookmark, okay. So, cool, right? Uh, let's change. Now, uh, you also need to create a third Swift file for this view controller. So, let's create, uh, right-click here, new file, <coughs> select Swift file. Okay, we actually need a Cocoa Touch class. Uh, it will be let's say third VC and it will be subclass of UI view okay hit next create so here we have it our third VC so okay this was supposed to be view controller okay let's get controller here okay I uh, cool doesn't matter it's same okay so let's hop over to main dot storyboard and get this connected so select a new view controller and go to file inspector i say uh, identity inspector and select 
third VC as the class and under third VC let's create a view dead load we will override view dead load and let's give it a UI uh, self dot view dot background color is equal to UI color dot gray uh, light gray light gray okay so let's run the app using tab view is really simple and very functional so here is our first view favorite second is history and third is bookmark so here we have it guys thank you guys keep watching and if you like my videos don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe